Hello friends, and welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei. It has been a while since I last played, and since I last recorded myself playing this, um, and I'm very sorry about that. But uh, I had a lot of weird stuff to do, like writing academic papers, and weird stuff like that. Who does that, right? And uh, so yeah, I did that stuff. And I need to remember what we did. I think last time we rescued the leader of the Resistance from the clutches of... Who was it? It was Yuriko, wasn't it? And she was somehow involved with this Goto person and they tried to execute her by nailing her to a cross, apparently. So, the... yeah, the... methods of... Dealing with alleged criminals have kind of been uh, nasty recently here. I mean, not that the death penalty is ever nice, but uh, nailing someone to a cross, that's not nice. Especially if um, you have them subsequently shot by zombie soldiers. Those are some weird methods. We have dryads. Let's talk to the dryads. I don't remember at all if you can actually talk to them. She's scared. Let's approach it. What an idiot. Okay, yeah, that did not work. And they suddenly assaulted us. Oh no. It took some damage, but nothing too serious. Let's just fire our guns. We're going to cast some magic, because why not? We're going to cast some... You're also going to... You all are going to cast some magic. I don't want to deal with this shit here. Um, we don't have much MP left, but, uh, well, that's not too much of a problem. You're going to attack because you're doing a lot of damage, if I remember correctly. If that worked... Oh no, they dodged it. Mabufu. Uh, not, not much, but they freeze. And that's pretty awesome. Because they can't hit us, and they're frozen. Oh no, more enemies. Oh, it's just goblins. So we're going to do an auto battle here, because fuck this. And kablam. Oh, even more enemies, more goblins. Okay, then let's just do this again. Gun, gun. But you're going to cast your magics again. Because we want them killed. And this will hit every one of them, yes. I dodged it, but I think we will get, we will be able to get, get rid of most of these enemies in this round. And not take too much damage, hopefully. No. All right. And killed. Fantastic. All right. Oh, well, that is a lot of experience, but. There. Those were also a lot of enemies, so... Uh, okay, you are going to heal. This guy... I think our human guys here are still alright, so that's not too much of a problem. Let's do an auto battle here. Kill them. Why are there so many enemies right now? I don't like that. Murdered. Fantastic. More cash and the next random battle. Like every step. This auto battle bam. Oh god, I yeah, shit. Those Andras things can be kind of nasty sometimes. Because they give you status effects. And uh, if you've played Final Fantasy in that game, in those games, status effects are nothing. So, uh, we will then proceed to play Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. Their status effects can be really nasty. Okay, if I remember correctly, before we go back to the, the bar, we can actually do some... do a little bit of a side quest. I don't know... I don't re exactly remember where that was, but we can actually fight this um, Ozawa person. 
that Takeshi has still some beef with. So, uh, let's just get ourselves healed up. We're going to go to the healer soon. Maybe it was in this one. It was in one of these um, little buildings here. Uh, 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 in here. Let's see. I think I we actually have mapped it. Yes, we have. Yeah. Okay. So now we can actually go here, go here, go around here, and there's a room. I don't know what there was in uh, uh, the last time we were here, but uh, not this guy, I think. There's a man standing here alone. Ozawa, someday I'm going to pay you back for that shit you pulled. Well, well, if it isn't the, the little worse we beat the crap out of back in Kishiyoji. You're still running around, playing your little demon hunter game. Why are you trying to kidnap Yuka? What have you done with my Yuka? Look, I don't give a rat's ass about Goto or Yuka. But Goto's got a lot of political and military power, and I want some of that. So this guy apparently has a little bit of a power trip there. Eventually I plan to overthrow Goto and take over myself. After all, I finally gained the ability to summon demons myself. And I don't have time to waste on a bunch of snut-nosed lowlifes like you. Play with this for a while. Oh, it's a haunt Baycock. Baycock? That sounds weird. Um, yeah, let's just try and kill this guy, shall we? You're going to use a gun, you're going to use your gun. You are going to cast magic. What do we have? I think this is the better version of, of Zen. Zenma? Yeah. I think so. And, um... We only have one enemy, so we're going to cast that. Pyrojack is going to cast Agilao. Oh, you can't cast Agilao, because you don't have enough MP. That's a shame. You can't cast Bufula, so you're just going to cast Bufu. Dang. And, okay, the Nui does not have any magic, so you're just going to... You're going to do your extra attack, because why not? Kablam, 55 damage, fantastic. That does 30 damage, that's also pretty good. No effect at all, okay. And, oh, the gun is not very effective. 17 damage and killed, okay. I think we were a little bit over leveled for this guy. I got a lot of experience points from that, and I, I like that. Um, let's put a bat point into vitality or speed. Uh, let's get another point into vitality. Kishi, Yuji. Yuji also leveled up and you're also getting vitality because you're way too frail still. And Yuji learned a new spell and a hundred worth of cash, a little bit of magnetite and he disappeared. God damn it! Where the hell did he run off to? Okay, so that was basically it, but at least we got some experience out of that. Um, yeah, okay. Where was the exit? Let's see. Oh, it's a Jack Frost. I don't want to deal with you. Be nice to my buddy. Oh, always. I'm always nice to Jack Frost. So the next, the the next thing we will do is we will go back to the mall. Then we're going to pay the healer a little, a little bit of a visit here. Let's see. Where are we? Okay, so we go to the left. I think the healer was here, if I remember correctly. Once we are done here, we are going to go up here, all the way over here and in here. And that was the bar where the resistance was located, if I remember correctly. So, let's just do that. Let's go over here, over here, over here. I think this will be the healer, yes. So. Since everything looks the same, it can be kind of hard to orient yourself in this game in the beginning, but if you're playing it for a bit, you actually get into it, and you don't have such a hard time anymore. To those, yes, I know what business do I have. I have the business of healing in the Healer's Dojo. That is that's weird, isn't it? Who would do that? Okay. 
So that didn't cost as much, so fantastic. Can we buy some things? What do they have? All kinds of weird stuff. There are so many items in this game where I have no idea what they do. Like Amida beads, Omikuji, Nyorai statue. What the fuck ever? I don't know. I'm go not going to bother with that. Then I see you again. Yes. So now we are back again. Back up to snuff. Back to kicking ass. So kicking ass and taking names. Okay, so we got over here, basically without having to fight anyone. And there's a ghost in the bar. So uh, let's talk to the ghost and maybe we're going to get some magnetite out of him. The ghost is angry, intimidated. Stop! And it ran away. Oh, that was one pathetic ghost. Okay, nothing here. Sometimes and the encounters change. Another bunch of these bodyconians. I think we could very easily kill them with fire. I think. Yeah. So let's just defend with everyone else. And we're hopefully getting a lot of money out of that group of bodyconians. I don't know why they have so much money and I also don't know what the crap a bodyconian is. Looks just like a zombie girl to me. Jack Frost, hello Jack Frost. Oh, and we got a lot of magnetite from the Jack Frost. That is nice. So, and that netted us a lot of money and a bunch of magnetite. That's awesome. Okay, Yakuza. That is pathetic. Another Yakuza, okay. Does not get as much. A little bit of cash. I will gladly take that. And uh, even more random encounters. Okay. Gun, gun, gun. Attack, attack, attack. And let's get this over with. Couldn't do auto battle because our people were still on sword. So. It would have taken a while. That was a headshot. I knew it just murders one of them. I really like this guy. And, uh, yeah, more damage. Let's not do that. Let's just do auto battle. Blam, okay. And you. Uh, we need to use our swords against that thing. I think the Nui alone would be actually able to deal with that thing without much of a problem, but uh, yeah, well, whatever. Okay, killed those people. No problem at all. Got some cash, got some magnetite. Brilliant! Thank you so much for saving our leader. I can't even begin to put my gratitude in words. Are Kazuya and his friends here? Yes, they are. Yes, ma'am. Kazuya, Yuji, Takeshi, I owe you my life. Thank you so much. Not only did you save my life, but you saved our last hope of saving Tokyo from destruction. In thanks, I'll tell you everything that I learned. I hope it will prove helpful to you. Yuji, the yuka that you are searching for is apparently in Ichigaya. The Kudeta forces have been bringing all the people that they captured named yuka to the headquarters there. So that is where she is. Takeshi. We have also gotten some information that has led us to discover the location of Ozawa and his gang. In fact, we are right in the middle of setting down a plan to attack his base of operations and capture him. Kazuya, I'm going to Ishigaya to rescue Yuka. I need to hurry. Some I need to hurry. Otherwise, who knows what they'll do to her. Kazuya, sorry, but I'm going to join the resistance in their plan to attack Ozawa's hideout. I can't just sit by and let him get away with what he's doing. So now we lose our, our two buddies here. Well, Kazuya, I guess it's just you and me now. Please, let me go with you. I need your help. We need to meet with Goto in Ishigaya and the American ambassador as well. In order to save Tokyo from destruction, we either have to convince one of them to stop what they are doing or get them to reach some sort of compromise. 
If they continue on their present course and end up in a war, Tokyo is as good as finished. Yuka joined the party. The headquarters for the coup d'etat forces is located in Ishigaya. It's to the east of Shinjuku. The American embassy is in Roppongi. But with public transportation shut down, we probably have to use the underground tunnels south of here in Yotsuya to get there. Both installations are closed to the public, but to get in, we've readied this fake ID card. If we show it to the guards, they should let us inside. Now we have the fake ID card, and then let's go. I let you decide which we'll go to first. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to go to to go to Goto and to go to the American ambassador and try to convince them from not engaging in an all-out war. I think this is the first time where our, our like alignment paths can di diverge. So we can, I think, yeah, I think this is the first time. We can either um, like take one, one side, we can take the side of the ambassador person or of the Goto person and this will shift us either towards chaos or to law. I think the Goto guy is chaos and the ambassador person is law. Um, what we also can do is to defeat both of them. So um, this will keep us on the normal path and uh, yeah this is probably what we are going to do to stay on the no on the not normal path on the neutral path because I want to stay on the neutral path if possible and I think we can also help uh, Yuji to save his girlfriend which will also count as a thing as a law action I think it will probably shift our alignment towards law, so maybe we're just not going to do that. I think he will be able to manage, manage for himself. So, uh, yeah. But before we do anything, what we need to do is to get... Where are you, Yuka? To get her up. Oh, she's, she's already level 18. Okay. Wow, I didn't actually know that. I thought she would be um, level 1 when we get her. Oh, fantastic, so she gets scaled up automatically. The problem is that she actually needs some um, needs some more vitality because she only has 69 health. I don't like that. What magic can she cast? Oh, wait, let's see. If we can actually see that. What does she have? She has an MP as a machine gun and she has nerve bullets. I think nerve bullets are pretty awesome because they give status effects. So that is basically a thing that can kind of break the game because um, you can put bullets that do status effects in your guns. And if you have a gun that can hit a lot of enemies, you can kind of take the whole party out for like if you have bullets that cause sleep or something, and that's pretty good. She also has like a metal thing, high legs, gauntlets, and sky heels. I think those are th those are armor pieces that can only be worn by uh, by women. So uh, the game the game kind of makes a distinction in in that. So uh, yeah, let's head outside. I thought we would need to actually get her up again, so uh, we don't need to do that, so that's fantastic. A lifestone? Okay, we're kind of bunking those lifestones. Let's talk to this person. Be nice to my buddy! Yes! Okay, let's go out. And, uh... Yeah, I think in the next video we will actually try doing the stuff. Go to the ambassador person. Those things were, if I remember correctly, um, on the right side of the map. There were some buildings we couldn't go into and now we can, so yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Not much happened, but... Uh, and I kind of talked too much. 
without doing anything. I apologize for that. We will get into some more action in the next video. So uh, yeah, see you next time.